Hey guys, a quick little update slash non-update from me. Um, haven't really done much since I picked up the two Monarchs uh, in the last, what, week or two. Um, I ordered the uh, manual for Monarch and I got that. And a little annoyed that I didn't get all the diagrams. Um, and uh, I found that out because the uh, uh, order sheet showed that, I, I got the order sheet as well, showed that this thing, uh, this the English metric lathe was ordered in 1988 and it was ordered as uh, to be wired at 460. And so I asked them how to change it to 230. Um, and uh, they were nice enough to send me uh, the instructions on how to do it, which included some blueprints or uh, diagrams of what to change which weren't included in the manual, but so that was a little annoying. Um, but it seems like it's as simple as there's about three or four transformers that I have to change from 460 to 230, and then I have to change the uh, pump from 460 to 230, and, and um, where these three fuses were down here um, that are missing, I bought those for 30 amp fuses instead of 15. Um, so the other thing that I found with this, and you may have noticed it, and I may have mentioned it on the, uh, first video is there's no speed control knob here. And uh, that threw me off. It has a little cap that I've actually pulled out of there. It's just made out of aluminum. It's painted. Um, and so... Uh, I thought, okay, well, maybe the original owners or whatnot changed some stuff over. Um, so I went ahead and picked up this off of eBay. And it goes right here. You know, and it comes down here. And, you know, I've got the collar. And then there's like a little... Uh, Bevel gear? Bevel? Yeah, bevel gear. Um, just made off the shelf Boston gear thing that mounts here. And um, that's where I started to, I was going to get all the parts to uh, mount the potentiometer um, like I've seen on other monarchs and like my buddy's monarch is. Um, and I ran into something confusing. And uh, so the way that it works if you have the little bevel gear, pinion gear thing, is it has a little bevel gear, and the potentiometer, either, I think, sticks straight up like this, and has another little gear that meshes with it, and as you turn this, it turns the potentiometer this way. Um, the potentiometer is held by a cast iron bracket that comes out and and uh, mounts right here on a, an arm that sticks off of this. This other lathe has the arm right here. You see that? And it's all one casting. Whereas this one does not have it. So, <laughs> to say I'm confused. Um, and it's not busted here, hasn't been ground off or cut off. It looks like a original kind of cast texture um, and I found this wire down here it looks like it's got three shielded like maybe three wire in there and shielded it's right here and I assumed that it was for the potentiometer setup but without that mount there I don't know. I'm confused on how they adjusted the speed um, the guy at Monarch I asked him about it and he did say that some monarchs were ordered without the speed control setup. So I asked him, well, was this one ordered that way? You know, and I haven't heard back, so we'll find out. Um, I'm going to trace that one wire to see if that is a, the speed control wires for like the speed pot. That's what I want to do uh, today or tomorrow. Um, this thing has 
it looks like the original uh, solid state DC drive system and I don't really see anything missing I don't know if the sun's screwing up the picture here if I can get a or if it looks okay but anyway a lot of crap going on that's one of the transformers that I need to change um, it looks like that wire in the back that uh, comes into here and out of here and comes over here to this side and it's either it's either this one or this one so I got to figure that out it'd be easier if I had uh, get my daughter out here but one of them comes down to right here the other one one of them comes down to right there the other one falls along here and comes up here and I think it's coming into this somehow there's probably a tie into this um, but anyway that, that's about it right now I'm just thinking out loud so, so sorry to bore you um, I need to figure out the speed control. I need to figure out, I need to rewire it to, to 230. Um, do the speed control, probably clean all the dust off of these circuit boards, um, for the most part. Uh, and then I need to wire up this the drum switch in the back for the forward reverse um when i got it the the drum switch was taken out of this one and i took the one out of this one so i could put it in it but it's a different type of drum switch but it, it should work fine probably or i'll see if monarch has one that's came out of the solid state it's just a little newer uh design i think um I don't think there's anything majorly different. Um, that's about it. So if you have any idea about or have seen that before where they didn't have the speed control set up and, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I anticipate that unless monarch can specifically tell me how it was set up before i'll probably end up taking the casting out of here that has the mount arm and converting it over and you know using this knob you know to control the speed um that's about it just want to give you a little update slash no real update <laughs>